A fishwife, fish fag or fishlass is a woman who sells fish. In this context, the word wife means woman rather than married woman. This usage stems from Old English wif woman, and is similar to the German weeb, also meaning woman, nowadays rarely used and usually in a pejorative sense. Often the wives and daughters of fishermen, fishwives were notoriously loud and foul-mouthed, as noted in the expression, to swear like a fishwife. One reason for their outspokenness is that their wares were highly perishable and so lost value if not sold quickly. Fishwives in fishing villages such as Colorcoats and New Haven were noted for their beauty, hardiness and industry and were celebrated by artists and royalty. Billingsgate London S. Traditional fish market was frequented by such types who were known as the wives of Billingsgate. They dressed in strong stuff. Gowns and quilted petticoats, their hair, caps and bonnets were flattened into one indistinguishable mass upon their heads. They smoked small pipes of tobacco, took snuff, drank gin and were known for their colorful language. In the 18th century, fishwives frequently appeared in satires as fearsome scourges of fops and foreigners. Their vigorous and decisive mien was contrasted with that of politicians who were, by contrast, portrayed as vacillating and weak. For example, in Isaac Cruikshank S.A. New Catamaran Expedition, a fleet of Billingsgate fishwives sails across the English Channel to terrorize the French and shame the British Prime Minister Pitt for his inaction. Color coats William Finden noted, in 1842, that the wives and daughters of the color coats fishermen searched for the bait, digging sand worms, gathering mussels, or seeking limpets and dog crabs. They also assisted in baiting the hooks. In addition to this, they carried the fish to the market to sell them. When fish are scarce, they not unfrequently carried a load on their shoulders, weighing between three or four stone, to Newcastle, which is about ten miles distant from Colorcoats, in the hope of meeting with a better market. Edward Corvan wrote and performed a popular music hall song about the Colorcoats fish lass in 1862. Ah. S.A. Color Coats Fish Lass, say Cozian. Free. Brought up in a cottage close on by the sea. And. Ah, sell fine fresh fish tea poor and. Tea rich. Will ye buy, will ye buy, will ye buy ma fresh fish? The Color Coats Fish Lass became a popular subject of American artist, Winslow Homer, who resided in the Picture K fishing village, to paint, from the spring of 1881 to November 1882. Homer soon became sensitive to the strenuous and courageous lives of its inhabitants, particularly the women, whom he depicted hauling and cleaning fish, mending nets, and, most poignantly, standing at the water's edge, awaiting the return of their men. Jean F. Terry wrote, in 1913, The Colorcoats fishwife, with her cheerful weather bronzed face, her short jacket and ample skirts of blue flannel, and her heavily laden creel of fish is not only appreciated by the Brotherhood of Brush and Pencil, but is one of the notable sights of the district. William S. Garson, in his 1935 book, The Romance of Old Tynemouth and Colorcoats, wrote, the Colorcoats fishwife plays a man's part in helping to launch the lifeboat, frequently wading waist high into furious and ice cold waters, and she never hesitates to allow her man to take a place on the boat, though he may go to face death and disaster. New Haven The Scottish fishwives of New Haven had a reputation for their beauty and industry and so were celebrated by royalty. George IV and Queen Victoria. They were hard bargainers though, and all the fishermen of the Firth of Forth brought their catches to New Haven for the fishwives to sell in Edinburgh. The fishwives wore distinctive costumes of blue duffel coats covering layers of colorful striped petticoats with a muslin cap or other similar headdress. Their fish, such as haddock and herring, were carried on their backs in creels. Gallery Famous fishwives Dolly Peel, a fishwife of South Shields Dolly Pentry, the last native speaker of Cornish 
Merit J. Arendt's Dutch Fishwife and Rebel. Molly Malone, the subject of an Irish song. Annie Sandercock, the artist, dancer, and celebrated wrestler. See also Fishmonger References <laughs>